Alessandra Bradbury and her husband have their hands full with five kids when she discovered an unwelcome dinner guest last Thursday. My husband was pulling the meatloaf out of the um, oven and I was putting the corn into um, a bowl. Alessandra found a worm on top of the corn and she even took a picture of it. So I took it out and it started moving on my finger. The kids ran into the room and it was, it was a worm. It was, I don't know what kind of worm it was, but it was a worm and it grossed me out because I didn't even eat dinner that night. She was even more grossed out when she read the FDA food defect action level packet that we brought her. That shows the FDA allows a certain amount of contamination in edible products. In fact, they say they are unavoidable in commercial food processing. Wow, this is really an eye opener. Because it's, I, I, now it just makes me leery on what to make my my family now. For example, in canned sweet corn, the FDA allows a small amount of insect larva. That's just so gross. You think that's bad? Check out the guidelines for chocolate and chocolate liquor. Average is one or more rodent hairs per 100 grams. Oh my God, that's so gross. And then there's the wholesome old peanut butter. According to the FDA guidelines, the average 18 ounce jar could contain five or more rodent hairs and 145 bug parts. Alessandra says she doesn't have to worry about that since one of her kids is allergic to peanuts. But now vegetables are a whole new dilemma. Other than that, I'm just going to have to find a better way to give my kids their vegetables because they love vegetables. They love vegetables.